All right, it's time. It's time to upgrade the dust collector behind me. I've had this Wen for a little over a year or two. I don't know exactly what it is. I'll put the, I don't even know what model it is. I'll put that in the, the title of this video a little bit and then description. But I've had it here, it's done well for what I've needed it to, but I wanna improve the, the system of using the bags and the filter and just hopefully imp overall improve the suction of the unit. Now, if you don't know, compared to the Harbor Freight model, this one already has the improved impeller inside the fan, the, or the improved fan inside. Uh, so I do not need to upgrade that. Uh, but, so if you have a Harbor Freight unit, you'll have to get that as well. I can put that link in the description below as well. Um, but this one, I don't have to do that. So I'm gonna actually just up improve the filtration and um, some other stuff. So we'll take a look at what I've got um, as an existing setup and then I'll show you some of the parts I got behind here and then we'll get to the build. So before we get to tearing apart that dust collector, I'm gonna do a one test. This is the only way I really know how to test this uh, to see if it, there's any improvement when we're, when we're done. And I've got a wind speed device and we'll measure the wind speed I think at this four inch duct right down here uh, right before the table saw. So now we can start tearing apart the WEN a dust collector and start getting stuff put together for the new orientation of the dust collector. Ugh. Try and minimize the amount of dust that spills. And just like that, I just got up four more bolts and or I'm actually more than that, six bolts and I'll have the motor off. This bag system was so nice that I actually had to tape it because it was leaking. All right, the first step I gotta kinda do is take all my components and figure out where they gotta go. This is a the Oneida Air Systems Super Dust Deputy. Uh, if you look at it, it's probably the, what is it? It's the Super Dust, Dust Deputy 4-5 Dust and Debris Cyclone Separator. Went to Oneida's website and for the one to two horsepower dust collectors, this is the dust deputy that you need. A um, little cyclone. And I picked up also a 55 gallon plastic drum. It has a twist off cover. And in between, I searched all around for these for something like this and I had to go through Oneida. But they have their flanges. So I put a flange there and then we'll put another flange on the under side of this. And then we'll have a piece of flexible that goes in between them. All right, quick update. I got the motor mounted on the wall. All I did was took a scrap piece of plywood, three quarter inch plywood that I'm using to build cabinets and hung it on the wall, made sure that these legs are going through the plywood into a, a stud. These two are going into studs. And it's pretty sturdy, not coming off. I might drill another hole right here, put another, another screw in here uh, on both sides just to get her in there and then next I built a platform for mounting the dust deputy as you see here um, all it is is just some some spare plywood and I've got a little hole drilled in the bottom side and just enough for it to sit with a 5 inch to 6 inch reducer here into the 
dust deputy and then it's sitting on top there's the foam insulation in between and then I'm gonna put some caulk around this ring all the way on the outside and we'll suck it up on the underside to this here like so so we'll put some caulk underneath there and make an airtight seal there and then from there that'll have a little be a piece of flexible pipe to come out and then the drum will be sitting underneath it so we'll get that finished cleaned up and get the dust deputy installed all the way and then we'll move on to the filter Alright, update time. I was able to get everything on this portion installed. As we can see, we have, I installed that flange on the bottom earlier. And then I installed a flange on top of the barrel. And I reinforced it with a donut on the inside. And I also put these nuts and bolts on here. So if I want to have an option for removing, because I'm not going to be able to remove this barrel by just twisting this lid off. I have to disconnect something in here. Now I do know that there's some barrels, lids that are, are two-piece lids where the ring is separate, the weight ring that twists is separate than the actual lid. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on one of those lids and that'll make this process a lot better. Just remove the ring and I can just pop the top off, take the barrel outside. But for now I'll have to either remove the actual uh, flange or I'll, this is a removable, um, pipe clamp, I guess you call it, uh, so I can put that off there. But uh, So the dust is going to go into here and then drop down on the barrel. And then I also was able to take it, there, this 4 to 5 dust deputy came with this fitting here on the end which is, goes from 5 to 4 inch. So I took this 4 inch flexible duct and then I have a fitting that goes from a 4 inch duct to a 4 inch Schedule 40 PVC. And then we'll get our PVC going over to the rest of the dust collection system. So now the next step is to work on the outside, the filter. From Win Environmental, I got this filter, which is made for these dust collectors. So you, if you don't want to go this, this distance as far as rebuilding it, you can get this filter and it's a direct replacement for the bag. This filter, essentially will sit directly on top of this ring, like so. They've got clamps and such that'll 
clamp it down to this ring. And this is a nice pleated filter that's a direct replacement and a better filtration option than the, the bags that come with these units. Together a little donut and flange for the orange portion of the dust collector. Essentially, what's going to happen is this mounts on there like this. I'm going to mount this on the wall. This will be against the wall, and then this will come from the motor on the dust collector. The filter will sit on top here. And then any fines that make it past the dust deputy will drop down, hopefully, into just a five gallon pail. So what this is here is a, uh, what do we call it? It's a gamma seal lid. And I cut, I cut the middle out. And then this part here, this ring, will be attached to a five gallon bucket. And then I can just thread the bucket on to get it sealed in there. Like so. So to attach this filter to the body, Wind Environmental sends brackets that screw inside of, into the body like, the, like so. And then there's these clamps that hook into the brackets here and then also hook into the filter and then allows you to pull the filter down onto the body. So I got this bracket screw, screw in here. And then they also send a long these little retainers that go on the back side just for extra force, just in case. And then we put the filter up there. And I get in here like so. It's already got a foam seal on the bottom. So we'll just get it centered. And then once you get it in sp its spot, We'll tighten it up. It says do not over tighten though. 
just want to make it snug. No idea what is too much tightening, but should be good. There we go. How does it look so far? Get that bucket hooked up. Of the last bits is get the drum in here, put it up against the wall, tighten it. Definitely going to need to get the uh, other lid that's available, the two piece. That'll make this a lot better. We have a completely sealed unit now. We'll tighten this thing up. And then I gotta hook up power and we'll be ready to suck some dust. Check that out. One more piece, power. Picked up this switch because the new power switch is way up high. Plus the outlet is a little bit further away. Well, this is more better. The only issue is it's not 20 amp. Shucks a daisy. I should have looked at that. All right, so when you're looking at that, this is a 20 amp cord. Check that out. So, this is only a 15 amp plug. So I'm gonna have to plug this in on the wall over here for now. Just barely. So it actually seems like it's quieter. You can feel the air coming out of here. Well, apparently, this thing maxes out at 60 miles an hour. But there's definitely improvement because with the, the leg up before, I was seeing 50, 51, 52. Now it maxes out at 60. All right, we'll see what's going on here. See what it collected. I cleaned up a quite a bit of sawdust from the floor. Take a look. Awesome. Other test is to see what, if anything. What? If anything, made it into the filth into this bucket over here. Some little finds in there, but we'll see. There might have been just some broken loose um, from in the, this tube and. Just a little bit in here, but we'll see what comes over a, a full bucket of sawdust. There's probably a quarter cup in here, I bet. Of fines, which is nice. It's a quarter cup of fines that aren't getting into the filter. All right, so that's what I did to upgrade the WEN 3403 dust collector that I have. 
Again, this dust collector compared to the Harbor Freight dust collector has the upgraded fan already. I verified that by looking at it. So I didn't have to touch the fan like the Harbor Freight dust collector that's out there. So that's why this one's a little more expensive, got a little better fan on it. Um, but what I did is, again, I got the Super Dust FD 4.5 from Oneida Air Systems. I got the two six-inch flange, six flanges from Air, Oneida Air, six-inch flexible duct here with a um, food safe, removable lib, lid plastic drum, and then a six to five reducer. I just got it's a standard HVAC metal. I actually took the crimping out of the, the six inch side to get it, to slip it over the top of this Oneida um, dust deputy. And then the five inch non-crimped fits nicely over the, the port on the dust collect on the motor. This five inch pipe on this side is the one, came, one that came with the 3403 dust collector from Wen. And then it went over, if, if I had the headroom, I got a wood rack above me, if I had the headroom, I would like this port to be directly straight across, but I don't have the headroom over here, so I had to drop it down like this. I think it'll be okay. There's not like a, any 90s. It's a nice, easy sweep into the, into the body from the original dust collector with the Win environmental filter. I'll put a link in, my, in the description to the filter I got. Uh, I think it's a Merv 10, I think I got. Uh, but it, it, they have these filters. They fit these bodies nicely. They have the kits to install them and clamp them down. And then on the under, underside, I put that donut to be able to seal the body to a piece of plywood. And on the underside, I installed a locking lid for a five gallon pail. I'll have a link in the description and a five gallon pail to collect any fines. So essentially this is now a two stage dust collector where the, before it was the one stage bag uh, dust collector. So that's it. Um, I will do an update video in the future, so subscribe to see that, to let you know how this is working out. Uh, initial test are the, the wind speeds at my table saw are gonna be increased compared to what it was before. Before it was like 51 to 52 miles per hour. Now it's 60. I think my wind speed meter maxes out at 60 miles an hour. Definitely is going faster than that. The other improvement of this dust collector is it seems quieter. It's not as loud as it was before. But I, I've got a lot of cutting to do here in the next couple weeks. So we'll see. We'll get this filled up some, the, the barrel. And I'll do an update video. I want to do a little bit of upgrading up to my plumbing on this end. Uh, so I'll do an update video on the plumbing and then also my reaction to see how this is all working. You know, I could get a half barrel of dust and then if, is there any in the five gallon pail here. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Hope it helped you uh, improve your dust collector. Um, this was actually not too bad. It took me a couple days. More, th more thinking to get all the parts and pieces ordered and in hand. Uh, once I got working on the project, I had everything I needed. I do actually do need a little bit of foam sealant down here um, in between this flange and the barrel lid. Uh, but I've been, or I've been collecting this stuff for about two months now. Now I finally got it installed and it'll be really make this a lot better. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. So hit that like button. Let me know what you think about it and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.